In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we're celebrating St. Boniface, a great evangelist, also a martyr who evangelized uh, different parts of Europe. And he's well known for cutting down a, a, a sacred uh, oak tree to the pagans. And uh, he's, people, ought, people have been speaking about him uh, lately, taking on the, uh, the pagan... Uh, uh, ideologies and introducing the light of Christ and so we can pray for his intercession today let's open our hearts to the Lord and receive his mercy I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christe, Christe, Eleison. Christe, Christe, Eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Tim Timothy. You have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions and sufferings, the things that happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from them all. Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ will be persecuted. But wicked people and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly, firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in right righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O oh Lord, great peace have they who love your law. 
Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not swear from your decrees. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous ordinances endures forever. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I fulfill your commandments. I keep your precepts and decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, How can the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how can he be his son? And the large crowd was listening to him with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A sign that we're on the right path in our walk with the Lord is that we're experiencing a little bit of persecution. The Lord Jesus promised, he says, if they persecuted me, They'll also persecute you. And St. Paul today is speaking about his experience of persecution. He says, Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. And we see this in the history of the church. St. John Vianney, the patron saint, the universal patron of parish priests, he was persecuted when he began his work in his parish in the little village of Ars. Um, the priests in his diocese, they didn't like him. They didn't like him, they didn't like his ways of doing things, and so they actually sent a little petition around the diocese, asking the bishop, petitioning the bishop to kick him out. And this petition was sent from parish to parish to parish in the diocese for the priest to sign. The priests were signing this petition, and guess what? Somehow it made its way to St. John Vianney's parish. So guess what St. John Vianney did? He signed it and passed it on. <laughs> And also, um, you, you're all familiar with, with St. John of the Cross, great doctor of the church. Um, he's known as the Prince of Mystics, one of the great, great saints of the church. When he began to reform his community, um, his community locked him up for nine months. They gave him hardly any food and even beat him up uh, on a regular basis, you know. And... Um, there's just so many stories. I remember once I was visiting a community of sisters in a, in a very poor neighborhood, and one of the sisters in the community, there was just so many street people, or street children, living in old burnt-out cars and hardly any clothing. So she started a little school 
next to the convent for these street children. And it was such a success that it, it, it got national attention, recognition. It was just a heartwarming, beautiful thing. I visited the school. And would you, would you know that so many of the sisters in her convent, they weren't at all impressed with what sister was doing. <laughs> you know, it just it, mind-boggling, you know. Um, I know a priest who uh, years ago started a, a TV ministry preaching the gospel on TV. And again, very fruitful ministry, touching a lot of people. He was also a member of a community. And um, it, it, he said his community never supported him. They were always teasing him. They'd always ask him, well, how's your show? You know, and he, he insisted, he said, this is not a show. I'm preaching the gospel using the media. He never called his ministry a show, but yet in his community, no support, just kind of teasing, calling his ministry a show. Now, but the thing is, is we shouldn't get all upset and angry if we're experiencing some persecution like this, because again, it's a sign. It's a sign we're on the right track. It's a sign that we're conformed to Jesus who was persecuted. Remember what the Lord Jesus said, blessed are you when people hate you. And when they exclude you and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man, rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. It is our faith in Jesus, the Christ of God, which unites all, the mem all members of this community. In his name, let us bring our intentions before the Father. That church leaders may be zealous in proclaiming the truth of the divinity of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That unity, peace, and harmony may become a reality, especially in nations where people suffer discrimination on account of race, gender, class, or religion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ calling them to a life of service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of today's Mass, for Arlene Ambrosiak Spano, Offered by her sister, Karen Ambrosiak, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge you as our, our only Lord. Keep us under your care and grant the prayers we have made. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Draw me close to you. Never let me go I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend You are my desire No one else will do Cause nothing else could take your place To feel the warmth of your embrace Help me find a way Bring me back to you You're all I close to you never let me go I lay it all down again help me find the way bring me back to you 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Boniface and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tois peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. But through your loving mercy, be for me a protection of mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy you. that you should enter under my roof, but I'm only say the word and my soul, my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You're all I want. You're all I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. I lay it all down again to hear you say that I'm your friend. You are my desire. No one else will do 
Cause nothing else can take your place To feel the warmth of your embrace Help me find the way Bring me back to you You're all I want You're all I ever needed You're all I want Help me know you are near Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray. Give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Heavenly Father, pour out your wonderful love upon your children. Heavenly Father, pour out the full grace of the Holy Spirit. Holy Father, Pour out a grace of purity into the hearts and souls of your children today, that we may love you, Lord, with pure hearts, with hearts wholly dedicated to you, Lord. Help us to fix our eyes on you today and to be filled with your heavenly joy. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Daily, daily sing to Mary. Sing my soul, her praise is due. All her feasts, her actions, worship with the heart's devotion true. Lost in wandering contemplation, be her majesty confessed. Call her mother, call her virgin, happy mother, virgin blessed.